Well, um, you want to ask me questions or not? You don't really need to. I don't really need to. What do you want to talk about? I know what I want to talk about. So, you, are you rolling? Uh huh. Hey! Um, <clears throat> I want to talk about um, my new paintings because um, I haven't talked about them before. Um, so, uh, first thing I have to say is that on March 26th, 2016, my wife uh, killed herself in my studio. Um, don't uh, really want to go on about that too much. Other than the fact that I do have to mention it because that um, uh, all the work I've done since then um, relates to that. It, it changed at that time. So um, first thing I thought was that I wouldn't paint anymore, and then within um, a few days, uh, it seemed even more important than ever to paint. So I um, I did want to paint. It was in fact about three weeks before I got to do any painting because there was so much stuff to deal with here. Um, so the, the, the first paintings that I did were um, a series of 10 small, um, I think 18 inch by 18 inch paintings that for me would be, I think, very different from what I'd done before. They were um, predominantly white, um, very minimalist for me and um, I don't know why, um, I, I, I didn't have any concept in my mind at the time, I didn't consciously think about what I was doing, it just felt exactly what I needed to do at the time. Um, so I, I think they are quite uh, peaceful and contemplative, and I think that's um, what, I, what, what I felt at the time in, um, in relation to her. So um, I did those ten. Then um, I, uh, my ambition was to start to do big paintings again. It, 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 um, I wasn't able to at that time because it requires so much physical effort and uh, mental focus to, to, to see them through. Um, but um, after about six months, I, I think I, I started my first big painting and um, they continued with um, this uh, a lot of white paint in them, predominantly white, and um, a bit more minimalist too than, than what I had done before. Um, so uh, what I'm trying to do really is to paint light, and um, as you can see in, in, in the images, um, a bit less paint for me. Um, still a lot of paint, but a bit less than than before and um, letting the uh, background show through which I think I would have not done before and uh, I kind of like it I think it makes them seem um, more light and, and airy or, or something like that and some I think for me uh, an interesting way of uh, using the space and um, now I'm pretty much back to painting big paintings again. I, I guess what I wanted to do at the time was to um, bring peace and light to Juliet in, in, in her death um, because she couldn't find it in the end in her life. Um, so I hope that with those paintings that, 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 that might bring it to her. I did a show of them in um, John Davis Gallery uh, summer last year where we uh, dedicated a, a small room to them, only them. And uh, I think it worked. I think it was um, a peaceful, meditative kind of space and um, I, I was pleased with it and I think other people were too so that was a nice thing I think I hope for her 
um, um, what we would like to do is uh, we would like to um, I still have all those paintings um, because I don't want to um, split them up um, so I would like to um, find them uh, like a, a permanent home for them somewhere where they would all stay together as a group and it would be um, again like a kind of a tribute to Juliet or something like that and um, we had some thoughts about them maybe going to some kind of hospital or um, some place that deals with, with depression or mental illness or suicide prevention or I don't know we're still talking about it. And my recent painting is different from before. Well, a little bit different from before. Um, I've started to uh, script and paint off a lot. I've been doing it for years, but um, I've started to do much more of it. And um, often scrape off all of the paint um, on uh, uh, many times during the working of the painting but also um, which then I would paint over again but also scraping off a lot of paint and, and, and in the end not painting over it and revealing um, whatever is in beneath that I find and um, I like doing that because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to surprise myself and it's um, kind of impossible to surprise yourself by something you did yourself um, but by scraping paint off, I, I revealed something that I didn't really know was there in, in a moment, in, 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 in a second. And um, that sort of is exciting, if I like it. If I, if I don't like it and it's not exciting, I can paint over it. Um, so I'm doing a lot more of that, um, which means that I um, my paintings don't accumulate so much thick paint on them, which I kind of like. I don't particularly desire a lot of thick paint um, unfortunately it doesn't mean that I use any less paint or that my paintings cost any less money to make um, because it just ends up on the floor and not on the painting but that's um, that's the way I've been doing things recently um, I've also been drawing a lot recently um, um, drawing um, in the park at, at night time um, as I said, what, what, what I'm trying to do with, with my new paintings is I'm trying to paint light. Well, that's not really very new, because I've been trying to paint light for a long time. But but the way that I used to go about trying to paint light was to contrast light and dark, which I suppose is what most painters would do. But I think um, somehow in, in con connection with... with um, with the way my work changed after Juliet's death, um, I am now trying just to paint light on its own. Um, and not so much with, with the dark, with the contrast. Um, so I'm using a lot of white paint these days. And it um, occurred to me that before I start painting at all, um, the, the, the board is already painted white. So it's already got a whole lot of light in it. So kind of nothing for me to do. Um, but I uh, want to paint, so um, I try to find something to do, and I um, think if I'm going to do anything, I need to add more light to what's already there. So that's um, kind of what I'm trying to do, to um, to make yet more light uh, in something that seems already to have a lot of light in it, and um, uh, my my drawings, I think. I hope um, help me think about light and, and figure out something about light and um, strangely enough I mostly draw in, 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 at night time in the park but there's a there's a beautiful light at night time and that's what interests me um, so And then I can give you some drawings too that you can put in it.
some drawings. Um, see if we can find any that I like. Look, the park at night time with, with, with lights. <laughs> Look, something else. Oh, the park at night time with lights. <laughs> Actually, that's the sunset, which is different. Um, the park at night time with lights. That's usually with a jaw, you park at night time with lights, but not always. Look, young lady, Miss Kang, young girl from Vietnam, different subject. It's a light that interests me, you know, can you see that? One more. I like that one, she, that's what she looks like. I don't like that one because that's not what she looks like. There you are, some drawings. <laughs> eh, what are you going to do, Jeffrey? <laughs> <laughs>